Uh, the next person I would like you to meet is Elana Newhouse. I have chosen Elana because I look for people who have creativity. I look for people who have a different approach to Jewish life than I necessarily do. I look for innovation. I look for courage, even if it means experimenting and failing once in a while. I look for people I don't think you have met before, and I look for someone from whom we can all learn. And I look for a committed Jew in whatever color, whatever stripe, whatever shape, whatever form, whatever hue. And this year, I am excited to be learning with you from Elana Newhouse. I'm a newspaper girl. I am not a, I'm not a Vanity Fair, she she writer. I don't work for NPR. I'm a newspaper girl. Um, and so what newspaper girls look for is they look for a beat to cover. So I ended up going to work for the forward. And it turned out that I stumbled into the best beat I ever could have stumbled into, um, which is American Jewish life right now. She um, uh, established at Forward their first um, uh, publishing house, and she published her own book, which is called The Living Lens, Photographs of Jewish Life from the Pages of Forward. That book, the publication of that book, took me on a 46-city book tour. And so for a few months, I actually went to many, many Jewish communities. And I, I started to realize that something really fascinating was happening with American Jewish life. So what I decided to do was there was this burgeoning field of online journalism. Um, and I decided to start an online magazine that was going to cover this new world. So Tablet Magazine is a, what's called a new read on Jewish life. Elana is its editor, its founding editor. And so all of a sudden, I had a panic attack. Because here I am, I think that I've just stumbled on a beat, and I've just developed a magazine to cover this beat in this new way, a rapidly changing medium that needs constant information and needs to constantly be fed. And I think there's nothing new. I have no more stories. I have nothing else to tell. And then I remembered something, which was when I was at the Forward, we published a recipe for gumbo chalent from one of our readers in the South. When we started Tablet, there was a back and forth in which I mentioned this recipe for gumbo chalent. And a woman from the Lower East Side, who's religious, actually wrote in to me and said, I made your gumbo chalent. It wasn't my gumbo chalent. <laughs> anyway, um, I made your gumbo chalent, and now I make it every Friday night. And I realized that, that that's what we did that was new. We actually cross-pollinate between communities. And it turns out that the internet is what's new. The, the closest way that I can describe it to you is that it's literally a new language. So there are all of these different ways of engaging with Jewish identity. There's religion, there's culture, there's bark mitzvahs, there's, um, if, if you like Philip Roth, if you like your grandmother's recipe, there are all of these different pathways. But with Tablet, what, what we were able to do is bring them all together and also bring disparate communities together under one forum. And so there's all of this cross-pollination. In a way, what happens is, is that the internet becomes almost a new language. So it's not one of the pathways. It's actually the language that we use for all of these pathways now. And so all of a sudden, I felt better about Tablet. What, and what every individual community and synagogue's role is is to realize that you are actually part of this enormous web. And that, essentially, what you need to do, you need to give and you need to take. You need to give out into the world, into other Jewish communities, into maybe, maybe even other, other kinds of Jews and Jewish organizations, 
the knowledge and the experiences that you have as an individual community, things that have happened to you, stories that have happened to you. If things happen in the community that you think are interesting, or there's somebody here, there's a story that you think is instructive for other readers and people like you out in the country, you should send me an email and tell me about it so that we can write about it and other people can read about it. But the other thing that I think you need to do is you need to take from the internet. You need to take from other communities and connect yourself to other communities. Learn lessons. Realize that there are people who've been, who have been going through some of the things that you've gone through. I just, I see the, the forms of connectivity, um, using them both ways, making yourself part of a national Jewish conversation, but also pulling the national Jewish conversation in here, I think, is what individual communities and synagogues should do.